Welcome to Travel Unravel, another episode of Love Crossing Borders, Travel Unravel. My name is Andre. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. Hit that like button. This is going to be a great video that's dedicated to those who've always been put down over the last few years. You've been ostracized. You've been pushed to the side. They looked at you like you're a fool, an idiot, a person that doesn't know what they're doing because you like fuckery and you are a passport pookie. You decided deep down in your heart, there's nothing better for you to do than to go on vacation or relocate to another country and not mess everything up for yourself. But we're not that channel. We will not mock you. We will not put out videos talking about how stupid you are when you're traveling. We won't put you on world star in different videos and situations to put you down. Today we have videos by individuals that are actual passport pookies and let you see step by step what things that you need to do in order to be the best passport pookie. So let's not hold you up because I know you got pen and paper in hand and you're ready to understand what it takes, what all you need to do to be the best passport pookie that you can be. Let's get started. As I was saying, there are individuals that have come to a final conclusion that they want to be passport pookies and we're not going to hold them up. We're going to make sure that they are able to embrace this. So if you want to be a pookie, follow the blueprint of this young man right here, because at the end of the day, we who are experienced travelers, well, we know how this is going to turn out and it's not going to turn out good. All right. So this video here caught my attention because this is there's a lot of pookieism in this video. So only thing is I do not know this guy personally. You know, I have I'm not gonna attack this guy personally at all. I'm just gonna attack the of what basically the actions that is, that are taking place in this video. That is what we cannot stand. So this guy go by Bankman uh Kevil, and so he goes, he went to Medellin, Colombia. And we you know what? Let's go ahead and play the video. So you guys can see what's really going on. First off, for those of you that know what it's like in Medellin, in Colombia, you do not go out there with all this jewelry and with those designer clothes. That's a fail right there. That right there, you know what? He should have been more responsible with this. Should have been more responsible because now he's showing other people who have never been to Colombia or Medellin think that it's okay for you to go out there with a whole bunch of jewelry. And we already know people get robbed, they get killed, they get drugged out there in Colombia. So for him to do this, big fail. <laughs> I give him the, the Fred Sanford. You big dummy. Uh, let's keep it moving. Hey y'all, what's going on, man? We in Columbia. We got a crazy, crazy, crazy mansion out here, man. Y'all gonna see us turn up, man, every single vacation that we take, man. We try to go to the next level. So if you try to be a part of the next level, man, be with the next level. We gonna definitely have some um, entertainment. You know, I ain't gonna tell y'all exactly what it is, which y'all gonna see in the video later. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna try to keep the drip. You know what I'm saying? You got on some Amiri LVZ, you know? Doing too much in Colombia. You're doing way too much. And again, like I said, you got to be more responsible. Showing people that may have never been there how you're dressing. And that basically, in so many words, will get them caught up, get them robbed, get them drugged, get them killed. Can't be doing this. Just saying. A lot of jail type shit. Check out the view, y'all. I want y'all to check out the view. I've never been to Medellin. 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 Yeah, I'll throw this in there. Medellin. <laughs> Medellin. Medellin. For those of you that don't know how to say it, that's the proper way of saying it. It's our car, Medellin. But we got a lot of land, you guys. You know what I'm saying? As y'all can see. This Medellin, that's the city right there, which we're gonna be hitting up later. We're gonna hit us a nice little restaurant. But let me show y'all the villa, man. You know what I'm saying? Let me check it, let y'all. Hey man, y'all know what's going on. We just ate real good. First at this at this scene, I wanna say I wanna applaud him for taking off the jewelry when he stepped out of the house. 
this is a, a, a good thing to show that look do not be flashy out there you know because i'm glad someone sat him down and, and talked to him because with all that jewelry and stuff like that he was a target he's already a target as it is just for being american you know being the way that he look but to have all that extra jewelry like the excessive amount of jewelry that was not needed for what you don't even need that to, to even find women in in colombia like if you do that you, you're going to find the wrong type of woman the woman that you don't really want let's keep it moving hey listen like i told y'all man connections is everything man connections will get you real far i agree the best advice that i can give you is stop being cheap man when you're cheap everybody look at you like you're a creep man you know what i mean get with the right people you know what i'm saying take your life to the next level man network network as much as you can like i did man like they do get yourself to the next level man we're in columbia right now man we're gonna be on trip after trip after trip you know what i mean buying property after property after property you know what i'm saying just exploring the world you know what I'm saying? possibly with your girl man you know what i mean so, yeah, you know, I kept that in there because I do agree, you know, networking is very important, especially in countries like Colombia. Um, the more people you know, the more people you have access to, the better it is for you to progress and to get to what you're trying to trying to get to um, as far as, you know, property and things like that. So I, I will I will agree with him about that. It's going to be a real move. But here comes the fuckery. Here we go. La Isla. God, these dudes, I can't stand this stuff. You want to bring out a wad of money and just to show off? For what? What's the purpose? Oh, oh, of course, you know, you got to have the bands, the bands, you know, as if you're in a rap video. Nobody care. That right there is the exact reason why we left the United States for dumb shit like this. Throwing money around. It's just a perception. Man, I don't see any women around right now. You know, they may have did this for the video, but it's, it's still that dumb shit, that rap bullshit. The reason why we don't mess with the clubs, stuff, you know, all this stuff in the States, because we, we're not about that life. We don't care about that. But now you're gonna go to a, a, another country and do that same dumb ignorant culture shit where that is not the culture of throwing money up in the air Colombia. 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 So yeah, that's all of the video that I'm gonna show and so forth. But I'm I'm just saying, you know, for me, just that part. I mean, it's 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 kind of frustrating, you know, to be looking at stuff like that. It's like, yo, you leave, you leave the states. All of us that travel, we leave the states from that bullshit, and now these dudes be taking that shit, bringing it with them to different countries. It's like every time we try to get away from it, you got these dudes that be coming with that bullshit. So that's that's the frustrating part. And then what comes down to it is the fact that they look at Americans and then they're looking at the fact that, oh, well, you know, this guy, you know, this is what he does in the club and everything. So I'm sure every other American that come here have that much money so we could go ahead and rob him as soon as we see him. This affects everybody. You know, the people, they're, they're selfish. They're not thinking about everybody else, just about themselves.
trying to floss. Let's move on to the next video. So we have another wannabe, another wannabe rapper. This guy here, he wants to throw money in the air. You big dummy. Here we go. You're a sucker and a simp. <sighs> Man, I tell you, this stuff right here is like, like I said, it's frustrating just to see dumb shit like this. You know, but it is what it is. Some guys are speaking to you in a way that they're not doing it on purpose, but they're speaking to you in a way that puts these women in a position of power over you, even outside the states. Yeah, a woman can lie on you to the authorities and it can go bad, but what choosing skills and instincts are you lacking that has you putting yourself in a vulnerable position with a beautiful monster and you didn't sense nothing? You don't know you're in a relationship with someone that'll finish you first? You haven't noticed that she's rougher than you? You haven't noticed that she's vindictive or vengeful? You haven't noticed how she does other people? You haven't noticed she's sneaky? You haven't noticed that there are some things that have happened that still don't add up. You haven't protected yourself. And like I mentioned before, I'm gonna have the channels, Solo ORD, as well as my man, Love, Purpose, and Passports in the description of the video, as well as the comment section. So you can make sure that you subscribe to these channels. Remember, the five things that you're gonna need in order to be the best Pookie that you can be is, first of all, you're gonna have to be unteachable. Nobody will be able to tell you anything. You do whatever you want, Pookie. Second thing is that you are unlimited. You don't have standards at all. You're like a flood, not a river. You flood and you tear everything up around you. Next thing as a Pookie, number three, make sure that you always want everything now. Everything needs to be now. You don't have any discretion, any form of judgment regarding something. You just want it now when you want it. And number four is you have to make sure that you're always emotional about everything. The more emotional you are, the more you're ready to fight and tear everything up, the more you need alcohol or some type of drug to keep you under emotional control, the more of a pookie you actually are. And lastly, make sure you remember that you rinse and repeat your behavior no matter what country you go into, whether you're back home in the States or in UK or in Canada, or you're back in Colombia once again, acting a goddamn fool. At the end of the day, we want you to always present yourself as the best pookie you can be. And no matter what anybody says about you, we know what you are a dumbass and you'll always be a dumbass once again my name is andre and this is love crossing borders slash travel unravel edition make sure you subscribe to the channel we got your backs pookie you're going to be great in a morgue or waking up the next day with all your stuff gone either way you had a great vacation didn't you